hello all uh, welcome back to my channel uh, today uh, we shall discuss about uh, you know uh, design of up counter and down counter so let's start with the design of an up counter um, okay so we need a constant block constant block uh, and uh, we need a add block okay and uh, yes uh, and we need a scope okay let's just connect this connect this and uh, yes connect this back to the output so yes we'll run this yes which is nothing but here uh, we uh, i just introduce an algebraic loop which is bad uh, algebraic loop means the input of the current time is dependent on the output of the current time so in the previous videos also i had discussed this so this can be solved by using a, a unit delay block so let's bring in a unit delay block and uh, let's rotate this okay yes uh, let's connect it here and solve this algebraic loop problem so yes we'll run this now see it is counting uh, from 1 and uh, it's counting all the way up to the max but uh, now we we'll limit this to some value and uh, uh, say if, uh, we'll start counting from 1 till 10 and again <clears throat> come back to uh, 1 and start again counting from uh, 1 to 10 so we'll do that uh, those changes so for that we need a comparison like uh, we need a switch block so we'll take a switch okay so for up counter we'll give the condition let it count till uh, yes till um, yes 10 okay and uh, yes here let's delete this and also let's delete this and let's bring in this switch block here and uh, we'll connect this and if ever it is uh, greater than 10 then we'll have to go back to 0 again so we need a constant block sorry not 0 we'll go to 1 again okay, because we are counting from 1 so will go to 1 uh, again if ever it is less then the same output will be taken so yeah so we'll connect it to scope and also connect to the unit delay block yes so let's run this now the output it's starting uh, it's counting from 1 to 10 again back to 1 and from 1 to 10 so this is an up counter now similarly just say that we want a down counter so we'll do those changes small changes that is instead of adding we'll do the subtraction here we'll subtract one every time so minus apply and okay and uh, yes here the constant block will bring in here so again down counting also will uh, uh, you know uh, from 10 to 0 and again back to 10 and from 10 to 0 we'll count it to something like that so uh, we'll give the value here to 10 because that is from where we are start uh, you know down counting so and the condition will change this to uh, 0 yes apply okay and uh, yes D delete this we'll delete this we'll connect the output here and the constant value 10 so whenever the uh, output is greater than uh, 0 then the same value will be taken if ever uh, sorry yeah if, if ever uh, output is greater than 0 the same value will be taken if ever it is not greater uh, than 0 it's less than 0 uh, then uh, the <clears throat> again we need to go back from uh, go back to 10 and from there we need to start going down counting so value 10 is given so we'll just run this and uh, output again yes from 10 it is down counting till uh, 1 and again back to uh, 
yes back to 10 and again uh, it down counts still to till 1 and yeah this continues so this was uh, about uh, up counter and down counter so let's say that we need something like uh, 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 in the first cycle like uh, here we need an up counter and then in the next cycle we need down counter it is like a must you know both up counter and down counter in a single uh, model so we'll try to implement that logic now it's uh, what i meant is like see here we are down counting and uh, again down counting but in instead of this we need an up counter uh, up counting part here and down counting here so this kind of uh, you know graph so triangle kind of a graph up count and then down count we'll try to implement that now uh, yes so so we can okay we'll remove the complete thing and we'll start it uh, all again okay <clears throat> so we have an empty model so firstly the switch block because we need to switch between up count and down count so we need a switch block so this is the switch block and uh, this is a main switch block and again <coughs> we need add block two add blocks because one for up count and uh, one for down count uh, yes okay this is a constant actually anyways we need constant as well so we'll connect this constant again uh, yes uh, we'll take the add block again here and uh, we'll change the sign to minus yes apply okay so we'll take the constant again for this down counter and we'll connect this and we'll uh, add, uh, you know, one case would be an up count and the other case would be a down count and uh, we'll bring in the delay block here uh, to the output uh, yes uh, just a moment delay delay block yes it's here so um, but the delay uh, we need a unit delay so we'll change this to one apply and okay yes so yes that's a thing and we'll take a scope to visualize the output yes it's connected and uh, yes this output again uh, should be uh, connected uh, back this uh, output should be uh, connected back again so yes uh, just a moment ah uh, yes the output again will uh, connect this to connect this back to the input uh, yes mm, yes we can connect it this way and again we need to connect this as well to the yes output is connected to the input again uh, now the question is uh, a decision making when do we do the up count and when do we do the uh, down count so that decision uh, needs to be made yes that decision needs to be made for that again we'll uh, uh, bring in uh, say for example whenever the uh, output is greater than zero uh, then uh, you know uh, uh, I mean whenever the output is uh, uh, less than uh, 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 less than zero then uh, we'll have to go for an uh, up counter so we'll bring in a switch block here switch block and uh, yes the condition will keep for up counter condition itself uh, so for time being so uh, yes so this uh, output whichever we took it from here so uh, yes this we need to monitor again so we'll just bring it as the input to this switch block and <coughs> uh, if ever it is uh, uh, less than zero then we need to do we need to go for up count and we'll uh, we'll send uh, the constant uh, one yes constant one yes constant one and that will be fed as the yes 
input to this block for decision making so this will be this will be an up counter up counter will be taken but it will uh, keep counting uh, uh, yeah it will be a, a up counter that will be pro, uh, uh, fitted in as the input so this this output will flow here similarly uh, when the output is greater than zero what we what do we do again we need to do uh, we need to uh, check the uh, again we need to check again uh, like uh, for the down counter condition again we will bring in uh, another switch uh, block and uh, the condition that for b uh, that would be uh, let's say that we'll count till uh, 10 but still we need to take uh, the value as uh, 9 the reason being it is greater than uh, greater than is something that we are checking here and also we have a unit delay uh, delay uh, thing there so uh, yeah mainly the greater than condition we are checking so that's why uh, instead of taking 10 we need to uh, take only yeah 9 so whenever it is greater than 9 we need to do the uh, down count and we need to send uh, whenever the value is greater than uh, uh, 9 greater than 9 we need to send 0 so we'll bring in a constant block uh, yes and uh, we'll send the value 0 yes apply ok and uh, we'll just uh, connect this output as well as this one and uh, yes uh, again the input for this would be uh, the output of uh, uh, this uh, actual main switch block so yes control and we'll connect sorry control and we'll connect it as the input if not if not if ever it is not greater than 9 then we need to maintain the slope for that we'll bring a derivative block uh, derivative block yes uh, and uh, again we'll just uh, expand this so that it will be clear so we'll bring in the derivative block and we'll connect this and uh, yeah again this is the connected as the point here to the output s yes. just to maintain the slope okay and uh, with this uh, yes our uh, all the connections are clear now so this is uh, to take care of the up count this is for the down count and the logic would be here so for the up count and the down count so we will just run our model yes and we will see the output yes it's very clear here it is starting from 0 and uh, all the way it is counting to 10 and again coming back to 0 and again uh, going to 10 so this is what uh, I was talking about up count and then uh, up count logic here and then in the next uh, it, it's a down count logic and uh, the derivative which is maintaining the slope as well and uh, yes everything is clear here uh, yes yeah uh, this was all about uh, up counter down counter and both uh, up counter and down counter in a single model so thanks for watching the video um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up yeah thank you